still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barf-tastic. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT? Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. The town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. Oh yeah! I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. I can't reach... It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. Lots of medical books there. It's one of Uncle Chuck's Tron machine monstrosities. It's a medical skeleton. Dolores, it's me, Dad. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. There are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. Dolores, how lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. 
How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can see you looking at me. I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be. This is Essential Abu Hotel Abu Business Abu, isn't it? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Do you like being a game designer? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Technically, you're still a suspect. Do you think I did it? Oh, no, no. But Agent Ray is suspicious of everyone. Well, thanks for chatting. Thanks a lot. I need this to get into Franklin's room. It's an elevator. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important... It's the hotel keycard for Franklin Edmonds' room. It's the hotel keycard for Franklin Edmonds' room. This keycard doesn't open this particular room. It's locked. I can't.
digging. It's not a compatible computer. It says, Phone Tron 3000, for when you need to handle hundreds of phone calls. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Government is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Nice. Pretty disgusting. Looks like it was repaired with glue or something sticky. I don't want to know more. Looks like the radio station is on the air. Interesting playlist. Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. Then Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. Followed by Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. And featuring Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. And finally, Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. I remember that poster. It gave me nightmares. There's a record on top of the turntable. What a big lever. It's a turntable. It's a mixing board, but I can't see the controls from here. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Impressive mic. It's locked and bolted from the inside. It's locked and bolted from the inside. I can't reach that. I'm not showing my badge here. The sign says we, the sign says we need a warrant. The clown is right. There's no path. There's no path beyond this point. It if by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. Mm -hmm. 
It's out of order. I can't reach that. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Hmm, Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. It's a defunct robot. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this. It's a spare AT-25 tube. Very rare. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory mod. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. I'd have to pick it up first. Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Sep the Navigator's Head. Hmm. We interrupt our hostile takeover non Stay out of trouble. It wouldn't fit in that Tron. It wouldn't fit in that Tron. It wouldn't fit in that Tron. It's 
one of Uncle Chuck's Tron machine months. doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX and AT class. It only works on vacuum tubes. It's an SR5858 tube in perfect condition. It's an SR5858. It's an SR5858 tube in perfect condition. It's in here pretty tight. I'd need an SR5858 tube puller. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX1138. It's a TX1138 tube. Removing it would take KSCUM's phone system out of service. KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. I need to stay f It's locked and bolted from the inside. The tube is missing. KSCUM's phone lines are dead. No way am I no way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. It's an SR58. It's an SR58. It's an SR5858 tube in perfect condition. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important It's a BB19 tube in perfect condition. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It's not working. It's missing its AT25 tube. That should fix it. It's one of Uncle Chuck's Tron machine monstrosities. I'm not going to waste time using these monstrosities. It's an official law enforcement police. No thanks, that's official law enforcement equipment. Standard city issued desk.
It doesn't work in that. It only works on vacuum tubes. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed Park easier. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. You can always just hang up when you're done, my feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? You can chill toilet water, a lobby fountain, and the drinking fountain in the lobby. Thank you, goodbye. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. Thank you, goodbye. It's a door. It's a door. Welcome back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? You need to figure out who was murdered by putting two photos of them in the face Tron. Where might the victim have some photo ID? Thank you, goodbye. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. It has Willie's muddy wallet. It has the photo of the dead body. I can't reach that. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Bloodtron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Fluoride is a conspiracy to brainwash your kids. And now back to our special hostile takeover song.
Stay out of my way and you might learn something. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I really want to get this case solved as soon as possible. I agree, Agent Ray. I've had enough chatting. <laughs> Thanks. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head, origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. It's a TX-1138 tube, all fresh and shiny. It's a TX-1138 tube, all fresh and shiny. Hmm, Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It doesn't work in that. I already have this tube. I can't reach that. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX1138 size tube. That's an LFG1982. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. It's a door. It's a it's a door.